To create an application on the next generation platform, you'll need to download the Slack command line interface tool. I'm going to show you how to do that on Windows. There's also versions available for Mac OS and Linux. Start by going to api.slack.com future. From the quick start, select download the Slack CLI from the left sidebar. You'll need to be signed into a workspace that has already requested to participate in the beta. If you've already done that, you'll see the three binary downloads available at the bottom of the page. If not, log into that workspace or click to apply for the beta at the top. We can download the Windows binary from here and find it in our downloads folder. From here, we can open it and select all files and copy them to our clipboard. You can paste these in any location that you'd like. In this case, we're going to try C drive, our users folder, and we'll paste them here. But first, we'll create a new folder to store them in. We can call it Slack CLI, and then we'll paste them in here. It's the bin folder that contains the executable we need. So from here, grab the address to this folder and copy it to your clipboard. If we open Command Prompt or Windows Terminal, we won't be able to use the Slack command just yet, and we'll get this error message that the command is unrecognized or inoperable. To correct this, click the Start menu and type env to open the environment variables. Click the Environment Variables button and open your user path and click Edit. From here, we can add the bin folder to our path by clicking New and pasting the address that we already copied. You can also use the Browse button to find it as well. Click OK, OK, and OK. We'll need to relaunch our command prompt or terminal. Once complete, we should have access to the command, and we can type Slack version to verify the version we're on. Visit api.slack.com slash future for tutorials and other documentation. Looking forward to see what you build.